Hello and welcome to the second part of my video uh, focusing more on the uh, new Android AN1 smartphone watch smartwatch, whatever you'd like to call it uh, from China um, the quality is actually very good, surprisingly so the only niggling thing is uh, the USB charging uh, port has a little cover which is doesn't quite sit in correctly so I've got a feeling that might break soon um, fully standalone um, watch with its own SIM and micro SD card uh, running everything Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean can run. Um, one important thing to note is that um, there's no menu hardware key on this so what that means is for, mo for the most part applications you won't see a problem for example Play Store has a soft menu key a lot of apps do but some things don't uh, for example if you want to change your email account settings um, what I strongly advise you to do as a first app you put on here is the um, hardware savior button and by doing so you'll be able to um, engage or disengage full functionality via the screen for any any buttons such as the menu hardware key that uh, that are missing so you have the standard other keys you have the volume uh, back power and home screen also doubles as a recent applications button it's a uh, one gig processor 6575 uh, one core processor um, has 500 meg of ram only 200 meg of rom um, which is quite adequate actually um, the phone and the screen surprisingly slick no lag at all in performance there um, the microphone and speaker again very loud um, certainly um, uh, you know you, you can either have it on uh, sort of um, uh, speaker mode um, or relatively silent mode if you're in public either way you still have to speak to your wrist unless you're wearing a Bluetooth headset um, or alternatively the micro USB port also um, can accommodate a headset which is or headphones which is quite useful um, and also to listen to the radio or to music because of course this can play music videos um, as can any Android watch um, home screen um, scrollable widgets on the standard launcher that comes with this which is very handy indeed the phone came uh, routed which is excellent news so you can dive straight into the operating system uh, put your own custom ROM on, ROM on there um, that's uh, very handy indeed so the apps I've put on here so far the voice activated assistant which is like Siri button saviour business calendar um, set up my email um, my cloud printing um, my Microsoft OneDrive Google Maps um, iGo which is a, a great sat nav program that's uh, just ideal for a little screen like this um, with a full text-to-speech service um, we'll just have a quick look at that again so it has uh, Wi-Fi which is actually much more um, responsive and receptive than my previous phone it can work um, throughout the whole uh, length of the house indoors through various rooms whereas before it was only capable of uh, my previous phone was only capable of um, you know about I would say five meters not that far uh, GPS works great indoors Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth of course um, and the two megapixel camera is just mounted discreetly there probably can't see it. it's very much sort of embedded into the case um, the case is actually surprisingly well made um, I noticed a couple of tiny little air bubbles under the glass just between the glass and the digitizer screen so um, again it's not really distracting for something which is the same price as a mid-range Casio watch but with all the functionality of a smartphone I think that's uh, that can be overlooked so we've got uh, full function on uh, GPS here with traffic information um, very very useful indeed so there you have it um, a quick run through of uh, my smartphone watch um, just to start up the camera briefly Um, so there we have it there's little else to show if you know Android you know what Android can do um, and therefore you um, probably um, 
thinking, well, it's quite quite handy to wear a watch on your wrist, and indeed it is. You never forget it, um, and um, certainly a talking point. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day.